welcome back. Man, I am a friendly pest. Today I'm playing Into the Radius. Actually, just trying to get back home and lick my wounds from last week's uh, misadventure. So this will be a maintenance episode. Get home, like see how slow I am, sell everything I'm carrying, reassess, buy ammo, decide what to do. Really started this mod too late in my opinion. This is the Warzone mod by the way. Uh, playing on a Meta Quest 3, streaming this from my PC over virtual desktop so I can use mods. If I had used Warzone mod from day one, then I would have gotten some really big paydays for those early missions, and I would have tons of money for ammo at this point. I didn't do that. I was playing vanilla. So now, I'm where the missions are getting more difficult, the zones are getting more difficult, the enemy counts are getting insane because of the mod, and I also don't have money for bullets. So, adds to the challenge. But today's gonna be a go home, sell stuff, Air my thoughts, think not a high action day, not a super fun day. Uh, some people like these episodes where I kind of just walk, talk, and hang out. Uh, but if it's not for you and you're leaving at this point, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the support. Uh, little channel needs all the love it can get. Let's talk about the industry a little bit to begin with. The Apple Vision Pro is available for pre-order now. Matter of fact, it's sold out instantly. Uh, I know they've got kind of a limited quantity of units available early. Something about their display uh, makes yields kind of low, so I can't make that many of them. Also, I expect that's intentional. Create like a, an artificial shortage on this device, make it a make it a premium device that you want and can't have and then try to push the sales on it that way also by charging an insane amount of money for it uh i think that's the strategy like like the first chevrolet corvette you know what i mean kind of a piece of crap okay but not just anybody could buy it you had to be a celebrity to buy this piece of crap and it cost a whole bunch of money so everybody wanted one not knowing it was kind of a piece of crap you know I kind of think the same thing is true with the Apple Vision Pro. Not that it's a piece of crap exactly, but that it's going to be like a status thing rather than something you would actually want. And I could be wrong, and I will apologize later if that is the case, but it doesn't have controllers. Like everything's touch based, right? So immediately, I'm not interested in the device. It's, like it's, it's not going to be useful for six degrees of freedom gaming for the most part. It's gonna be like kind of a computer replacement, sort of. Um, it'll probably be compatible with game pads and stuff. And I know Steam Link's gonna work on it, so you could probably play a lot of your flat screen library with this device, assuming the battery life is up to snuff for that. Um, so I guess, you know, you could use it some there. But ultimately, I think in my opinion, and this might change if I actually used the thing, which I probably won't. But I would think if there was like a Quest 2, right? Quest 3 or even a Quest 2 on a table and an Apple Vision Pro. And I had to keep it. And I had to use it. It had to be my daily driver. And I would get the Quest 2. And I don't even think it would be like a, a, a difficult decision. I think most of the cool functionality that the Apple Vision Pro will be able to do You'll be able to do that on Meta devices. Um, it won't have the polish of an Apple product, you know? Apple's wall garden has all this polish and that's admirable in its own way. I appreciate that stuff works uh, because one of the frustrating things about most devices is they don't just work, right? So I get that. But like $4,000 for something that in, in a lot of ways has less functionality than a $250 device, I'm out. I'm out, you know. I'm not gonna beat on it too long. I noticed that all the all the VR influencers got their pre-orders in. You know what I mean? These guys that thank you for your wonderful support. 
every week, your donations and Patreons and people go on their podcasts and donate money just to get them to read the comments. Yeah, those guys bought the $4,000 headset that doesn't do gaming. It's okay, you know, it's what they do. I'm glad they weren't like given units make them buy them, you know. I have this, I have this disdain for influencers. Because most of the time they don't buy things. And then the way they live their lives, they don't work jobs that most of us work to buy the things they do buy. We'll talk about it on the other side. We made it back. And I'm not hating on these guys. Like if I could make a living making videos, I might do it. You know what I mean? Sure beats working for a living. It works going out and having responsibilities, like a job with repercussions. If things don't work out, you're gonna be held accountable for your actions, right? Instead, I could just make a video and Google stuff and laugh and dance around and give people freaking cars and stuff and somehow get paid for it, right? I'm not hating on them, right? Society's backwards. Society's it was like, These guys have everything given to them because they can command attention. That's it. They get attention because people give them attention. And that's it. And then you got a lot of guys that go to work every day and I see them. I see them comment on my videos. I see them comment on my Discord. They go to work in terrible working conditions. You know, they're out in the cold, they're out in the weather, they're in offices that are very uncomfortable, very surprisingly uncomfortable. Uh, go to work every day trying to make ends meet, trying to feed their kids, trying to fix their damn car that broke again because they can't afford to buy a better one because they spend all their money on their kids and their families. And these guys are just ignored. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody cares. And they're out actually making society move. And then an entertainer comes along with a nice smile and they're given everything. You know what I mean? Whether it be athletes or people that make videos, or it's backwards, it's backwards. Like the most useless thing is an entertainer, right? Society has to move. I don't know, it feels inside out to me. And it's not like I'm, I'm just jealous because I want more attention, it's not it. Like it feels backwards. I'm actually pretty uncomfortable with most attention. Well, we don't have a ton to sell. Most of this is things I want to keep. And that's a turn in as well. Well, I'm hoping that the mod makes this pay. Give me my lighter. If you have a guess as to the value of this small pile of stuff and things, it's hard to say what it'll be with the mod, you know what I mean? So think hard. Wow. I bet that wasn't your number. It wasn't my number. Let's see what, what the heck. The Helix alone was worth 3,600. The monitors were worth 1,200 each. Wow. I made a comment under my last video that I got killed because I was looting crap. And if I'd stayed light, if I'd made better decisions, I would have made it out of there alive. But it looks like looting stuff is actually kind of worth it. Let's organize stuff clean, maybe buy some bullets. We'll think about what we can do with our missions, because I don't think I accomplished anything. Uh, we'll get set up for Friday, and we'll have another on Friday. I don't want to spend the whole video ranting about influencers. Influencers, what a waste of time. What a waste of time. I'm gonna at some point need to condense this ammo because like a lot of these boxes are partials, but 
for today, they're okay. I've got so many boxes of that. Empties. Should have sold those. Makarov magazine. Might need that. This is going to be, this is going to wind up being thrown away unless I can find a police mimic. You know, eight police mimic, not 12. Okay. Set these over here. Keep a couple of those. Save this. Don't need quite this much food. I'm not finding a ton of food on my runs. Some of these could be empty. That one's got six. That's a good one. That one's got three. We'll take that six pack with us and we'll be ready to roll. There's a one. Take that out of there. Sell the box. Okay. Uh, let's do our weapon maintenance since we're already in here. And we used a lot of ammo. And then uh, we'll kind of look at ammo and stuff, see about buying more. There we go. Might have enough money to buy some real optics because the, the iron sights are so difficult for me. Like I was pretty happy with how I shot last week, especially in the rail yard. But uh, some real optics would be good. See the thing is like, a lot of people don't know how anything works. Like, we're back on the influencer thing, I'm sorry. It appears to be my topic of the day. Um, people get in their car, they turn the key, magically it goes or it doesn't go. They don't have any idea why it goes, right? If it doesn't go, they have no idea how to make it go, etc. Because those skills are not encouraged. Like, being an auto mechanic is hard work. I've known quite a few auto mechanics in my life, very close. Uh, it's hard work and they, they have to keep up a very high pace and it's a frustrating task because vehicles are not designed to be worked on easily. So here's a very important job because people need cars to live, especially depending where you live. Some countries, everything is close together. There's a lot of public transportation. There are tons of bike paths. Where I'm from, that is not the case. You know what I mean? There's not even sidewalks most places, right? And if you want to go anywhere, it's 20 minutes in any direction by car, right? And then you've got a lot of weather. Sometimes it's stupid hot. Sometimes it's stupid cold. So a car is pretty dang important. And the people that keep cars working Seems like that would be a very important job, right? But it's, it's below average income. It's below average income and it's hard to do and it takes a lot of experience and it requires sacrificing your back and your hands. You know what I mean? It is not easy work and it doesn't pay. But some guy that makes YouTube videos makes a million dollars a year and has everything given to him. You see what I mean? I'm going to try not to focus on this for the entire video, but it's backwards backwards stuff like this should be a hobby you know what I mean like I get people that actually make the games they should be paid whatever the market decides there to you know what I mean based on sales etc that's what they should be paid they should be paid some cut of what they're able to generate by the demand for entertainment out there but this like the amount of time we spend looking at our devices to be entertained instead of putting that energy out there to try to learn new skills that might actually be useful in the world outside of just trying to get attention. You know what I mean? We waste so much time. We waste so much time and energy. I am quite ranty today.
All right. That was loaded. We're going to run out of ammo pretty quick. That one's loaded. This one's this one's in bad condition and not loaded. So we need to buy ammo. It actually makes sense to switch back to the Glock 17 because it's got bigger magazines. So we'll buy ammo for the Glock 17, sell this crap, sell these empty boxes. Um, we'll see what it looks like. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Let's see, I think I got three magazines. Yeah. Let's go shop. Mr. Mr. Lee's. I'm sure we'll need that again someday. Despite my ranting, this is not going to change, right? Despite the fact it's backwards, it's not going to change. I do think eventually there's got to be some kind of reckoning. money but we need a lot of ammo I'm gonna spend all my money on ammo and not have any money for optics probably gotta have ammo though let's see if we got anything left for optics it's a 5x45 weapon scopes Pretty sure this thing's loaded with uh, rail bees, yeah. Lots of rail bees. Hard to see. That would probably be fine. Okay. That is super nice. Got any money left for cleaning spray? Probably not. Let's find out. That uh, weapon's cleaning. There we go. Well, the good news is we had enough money that we can afford to go out and do a serious effort, which is great. Next week's going to be fun. Even the empty boxes are worth a decent amount, really. Let's go. If I pick up only the things that really matter, I can carry a ton of ammo with me. We'll kind of approach things from the outside in this time, instead of uh, sort of what I did last time. It's gonna work out. So let's start with the pistol. Let's get everything cleaned up and loaded. Make sure this is full. Condition, good. Condition, good. Well, maintenance first. That one's good, just empty. I thought something needed repaired, but it doesn't. Okay. Take the camera with us. Got this box of ammo and this box of ammo, which is 
traveling heavy. Not crazy about that. We'll have to see how well we can move. If we only pick up what we need, it might work out. I didn't have any money for health items. I've still got this, this healing artifact, a regen. It's about half. So maybe it'll work out if we try to approach things smart. Otherwise, we're traveling a little heavy. Let's look at missions. And then uh, we'll, we'll change their difficulty settings if we can make it, if we can make it through. Otherwise, we'll have to lick our wounds and, and reset everything and set it down, you know? Anyway, that's what Friday looks like. Got everything cleaned up, organized, ready to go, pile of missions. Hopefully I can remember what I want to do. I really, I had a different thing I wanted to talk about today. Like, I got hung up on this influencer thing because I've, I was kind of irritated by these, these people that beg for your money all day long. Begging for your support all day long. Wanting you to like and subscribe and share and donate to their Patreon and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I've got a tip jar if you want to. Do not feel obligated. You know what I mean? But these guys that beg for your money all day long are hopping on airplanes to fly places to buy a device that's not available in their area that costs $4,000 that doesn't play games. You know what I mean? Because they're able to command attention. And I'm irritated. I'm irritated to... I assume that the success does that to you. I assume when everyone starts, it's because they're just passionate about what we're interested in. Like I'm in this space because I love this space because playing VR games makes me feel like a little kid again. When I come in here, I have new muscle memory to learn. The developers focus on different aspects of game design that allows me to get close to things and see them in a different way, immerse myself in a world and, and feel a sense of wonder that I haven't felt since I was a little kid trying to see what was possible in games. And VR does that for me and that's why I'm here. And I assume that they start there too. And then at some point, like the success, you know, becomes, becomes the primary motivation. Like, surely none of them are buying this device because they think it's going to fit some kind of use case for them. You know, they, they make videos. It's like that's going to be its use case is that they'll make videos about this device, either loving it or hating it. And they'll draw in attention and advertising revenue. But they're not going to use the thing because it's not a super practical device anyway. It's, it's going to be a status thing. It's not even what I wanted to talk about today. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about like, maybe I'll save it for a different day. I'll save it for a different day. I think it's, I think it's worth talking about. And I think it deserves its own, its own day, not tacked on at the end after I've spent the entire day ranting about why influencers bother me. But they do, believe it or not, they do. I know I hide it well, I know I don't talk about it very much, but they bother me, they bother me. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. It's been Monday, cleaning things, getting ready to go for those that hang out during, uh, during these videos. I appreciate you guys. I know they're not as exciting as me going out there getting stomped on, um, but it's fun. It gives me time to chill, and I really like to create these videos in a way that I get to think and talk, and it's almost a journal for later, you know, and I'll come back to a video after several years, and I can feel what I felt, I can, I can remember what I was thinking, and I can see my growth as a person, you know, because one thing consistently through my life is I have always hated who I used to be, you know what I mean? I like. I'll look back on me from three years ago and think, man, that was a stupid guy. That was, man, I made a lot of mistakes. I really don't like the guy I used to be, and I'm in such a better place now. And every three years, I feel that way. And I think maybe that's not like the healthiest thing to do, but, it, but at least I'm an object in motion. You know, I recognize my faults. I recognize what I want to do better. And I can't make myself do better at all of those things, but I can on some of them. And when I fix those and I, when I level up as a human, I feel better about that. And I look back, I think, man, wished I would have figured that out sooner. You know what I mean? This is all a journey. It's all like a growth thing. And I think one truth to every project I've ever done, like 
and built my man cave and I built a car. Like every project I've ever done, the most fun part of the project was the project. Thinking about it, doing the work, seeing the progress, feeling all that. Like the end result uh, is cool, but then you're ready for something else. You know what I mean? You really have to embrace the journey. And I think that's true in projects. I think that's true in life. I don't think we should forget that, you know? Sometimes we get so focused on the end. Got to enjoy the ride. Got to enjoy the ride. That's your video for Monday. Hopefully you guys have a good week. Hopefully you got some fun weekend plans. Hopefully you're spending your free time with the people you want to spend your free time with. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Have a nice day.